Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm happy to see you again and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to swatch all of my Daniel Smith red pigments. That is not including the earth tone reds or the iridescent reds. So I am going to take them out. We'll do them another day. I'm just going to swatch all of these red pigments. Now I do have two opera rose or opera pinks. I don't know why I have two opera pinks because I just bought another one when I was down at my other studio. So I don't know, but I'm going to throw one of them to the side. Probably donate that or I don't know I put it in my new floral palette so you know who knows I might need to keep it and just keep it on the side ready for refill some of these tubes are getting kind of low so I'm going to be deciding if I'm going to rebuy I rebought this road road night genuine at my other studio it's down there all I have is this little prima tech and the starter kit um, but it doesn't say it's a prima tech color it says premium artist grade and it's pigment number it or it's pigment information is genuine rodenite so I think it is in the Prima Tech collection what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of swatch these colors out I've laid them all out on the plate here we're going to go around we're going to swatch them and put them in our painters color diary for a comparison painters color diary watercolor i am just really getting a lot of use out of this i think that it will be i'm just not seeing myself living without it now that i have it because it's just all nice and laid out and you can do anything you want in it from palettes to testing colors to text and test and mixes and now I'm going to test all my Daniel Smith reds. You know, a lot of these might be the same. They're all different pigment numbers with the exception of quinacridone rose and quinacridone red. They're both PV19. I think they are they are different tones. Quinacridone rose is a little bit more pink than quinacridone red. So I do have both of them. So let's just get started. And we're going to start off with opera pink. Opera pink. There's my heater. My goodness, it's cold today. Okay, the next one is Quinacridone Rose. And it's a deep pink color. All right, now I'm gonna rinse this one off and pull it out and see how it flows. It's got great flow. Daniel Smith does have great th flow. I love Daniel Smith's watercolors. Okay, the next one is this Rodenite Genuine. It's kind of hard to re-wet. And I think this has some granulation to it, which would be a reason that it would draw me to this color because I love granulating colors. Good flow. Yeah, I can already see it's granulating. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Now we're at Quinacridone Coral. This had a little bit of binder separation and this is more on the orangey side. I'm gonna classify it with the reds because I think I could mix a little bit of something with it and get it to be more of a fire engine neutral red and I think it's just a lovely it can be down to a lovely peachy color for flowers I should have put that in my floral palette but I didn't have that down there when I was doing it it's really pretty now we're at pyrrole scarlet very easy to re-wet and it's kind of the same color look at that it's very similar to the Quinacridone Coral. So far, the only one that's not light fast is Opera Pink, and that's a fugitive color. The rest are light fastness of one so far up to this. Now that that's down, I can see this is Pyro Scarlet is more orange tone than the Queen Coral has more pink. Mmm, I really like that Quinacridone Coral. I'm glad I have it in my collection. And this Pyro Scarlet is a Series 3, so it is going to be more expensive. The Quinacridone Coral is Series 2. Road Night Genuine is Series 2. There's some brown granulation happening in that one. That's really pretty. 
Quinacridone Rose Series 2, Light Fastness 1, and Upper Pink is Series 1. So this Pyro Scarlet is Series 3, which it means it's going to be more expensive. Okay, so now Permanent Red. Now I had a little bit of binder separation in Permanent Red as well. Not much, just a little bit of like gum arabic came out this is pr 170 light fast 2 so it's not the best light fa fa fastness huh can't get that word out but isn't that a pretty red it's a series one light fast 2 all these colors were transparent but this one is a little bit like maybe semi-transparent let me look it doesn't really say it doesn't really say but you know i noticed one thing i noticed about this color and i wrote it down up here it had these funky numbers after the pigment number so i'm not exactly sure what that indicates i'm gonna have to look that up Oh, nice flow. That's a pretty color. That's a really nice neutral, neutral red. This next one is Anthroquinoid Red. PR 177, Light Fast 1. This was one of my first reds that I bought after I got the dot cards. Yes, it's more cherry colored, like a deep cherry. I thought it would be a good mixer. It's transparent. I like it. There's a reason I like it. It's very neutral, but it leans more towards blue tone where permanent red leads more orange. Series 2, light fast 1. So it's good light fast. So now we have Carmine. Carmine is PR176, light fast 2. Not as good a light fast, but would be okay in a sketchbook. Very transparent. Good flow. Series 2. Now we're going into Quinacridone Red is PV19, same as Quinacridone Rose. Light Fast 1, Series 2. It's a very neutral red. I have this on my palette. I don't know if I have it in my floral or landscape palette, but I do have it on another palette. It's nice it's a good it mixes well good light fast flows well you mix that with a cool yellow like a nicolazo yellow and you get a real pretty peach color i really like that some of these i may not buy again i don't know we'll, we'll talk about that later so i'm having some thoughts already so We'll, we'll discuss my final thoughts after a bit. This one is Deep Scarlet. Deep Scarlet. Mmm. That's pretty. PR 175 Light Fast 1. Series 1. Nice red. Oh, flows well. Mmm. And that's a series one so it's not going to be that expensive now i need to i'm noticing some of my colors are back flowing over here i'm using too much water so that's something to keep in mind when you swatch okay the next one we have is alizarin crimson it has the worst light fast it was one of my first colors it is pr83 light fastness of four so it's sure to fade it's an old color Series 1. Now they do have permanent alizarin crimson, but I don't... Oh, that looks real bloody, but it is. It's kind of a blood red or like ketchup. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. I, I won't be having that on my palette, so I might put that in on eBay or something and get rid of that one. So if I do, I'll leave a link. Okay, the next one is Quinacridone Magenta. No, that's not Cronacrono Magenta. Okay, let's go back here so we get the right one. Because I know that this is Naphthi Maroon. So I've I messed up. Naphthi Maroon. Deep Maroon Granulating Color. Beautiful. Transparent. Mixes well. PR 171. 
flows well. That mixes beautifully with Green Appetite Genuine to make a beautiful neutral. So I love that. Okay, and this next one is Bordeaux PV32. This is Light Fastness of Two. I like this color. It was one of my first colors, but I wasn't privy to Light Fastness back when I first started. I just picked the colors I like, but in a sketchbook, you know, I hardly ever use it, so I may get rid of that one. Okay, so this one is Quinacridone Magenta. I don't know what got me messed up. So see, Quinacridone Magenta is very similar to Bordeaux. And it's a PR202 Lightfast 1 Series 2. Doesn't want to flow as well. Let me get that again. Get some more pigment. So... I messed that up big time, but here we have Upper Pink PR122 Light Fastness of Four Series One. I don't care if it's not light fast. I like that color. I want to keep it. Quinacridone Rose PV19 Light Fastness One Series Two. Quinacridone Rose. It's a keeper. Rhodonite Genuine. The Pink Light Fastness One Series Two. I love the granulation in that. I think it looks real natural. I think it'd be pretty for roses and that granulating would be like it's starting to turn brown, which I love that natural or little bugs are eating on it or something or feast, having a feast. So I love that. So I'm going to keep that and probably order a bigger tube for here. Then Quinacridone Coral, PR209, Light Fastness 1 Series 2. I love the lighter tone. It's a real nice orange. And I bet you, I bet you, I could even take that Quinacridone Coral and let's see if I could add a little bit of magenta to that Quinacridone Coral and get a nice true red. Okay, so here is my final thoughts on all these. I really like the reds I have chosen, with the exception of this Deep Scarlet and Lizard and Crimson. But I'm going to get rid of four tubes because I just don't think that I'm going to use them. So I took the liberty of trying to make a true fire engine red, and I mixed Quinn. Quinacridone Coral and Quinacridone Magenta and I came up with this deeper scarlet red and then I mixed a little bit more Quinacridone Coral into it and I came up with like a true fire engine red. So I'm going to leave that but I am going to keep permanent red because I think that even though it's a number two light fast light fastness I think that I would enjoy having that on the side and that's just for now I may change my mind later I'm going to keep anthraquinoid red because it's light fast one and it's got a little bit more of a blue leaning red to it so I'm going to keep that I think it would make a good mixer for purple I'm going to keep my quinacridone red. Even though they're very similar, I'm going to keep them both for now. The ones I'm going to get rid of are, are Carmine, Elizabeth and Crimson, Deep Scarlet, and Pyral Scarlet. Quinacridone Coral and Pyral Scarlet are really close, but I just like the undertone of the washed out a little bit better. It has a little bit more peachy, pinky tones to it. And the Pyro Scarlet has more orange. So I'm going to get rid of that. Deep Scarlet is just a little bit too ketchupy, bloody for me. And so is the Elizabeth and Crimson. So I'm going to put these up for sale. I don't think I need to have every color if I'm not going to use them. So that is my final conclusion. Let me know what you think. And let me know. I'm going to wait a little bit before I put these up on eBay. But let me know what you think and let me know if there is any other red tones, not including the earth reds, 
that you might think that I need or would enjoy now that you've kind of got a feeling for it. So I'm going to lead off and I'm going to do a short little painting in my sketchbook with this. I might even do it in my thrifted book. Just stick around. It'll be just a second for you.